Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just pushing my energy out, calling the loved one in. And it's Susan, yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, if this is Susan that I'm connecting with, there is this sensation that I'm, I'm feeling. First of all, a couple of things. She just brought, if it's her, energy being pushed to my head. So there may have been issues around the head area. Mm -hmm. I also feel like I'm on medication. Like I'm flying high right now. So I'm feeling like a little bit of morphine. And I feel like with her, it's like, ooh, I wish I had a little bit more of this. Yeah. Right. So I feel like she was on some some kind of substance or morphine or something. Probably I'm hearing to take the edge off. I just mm -hmm. feel like something about taking the edge off. Does that make any sense to you for her yeah. so far? Yeah. Okay. She just bulldozed in and I just hearing, she's like, I wouldn't miss this. There's no way I'm going to miss this. Right. Yeah. So now she's just like, she's showing this excitement now. And the fact that you're here and giving her the opportunity of connection, she's like over the moon. I'm over yeah. the moon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So does she have like, kind of like a stroke or an aneurysm of some sort? Uh, she had brain cancer. Okay. That's what it is. Okay. Um, just asking her to take it away. Away. Okay, so it is her for sure. Okay, I'm just asking her to take it away. Do you have anyone else in spirit that might have passed? Anything to do with the head? In? Another one? Yeah. yeah. Okay, because this one's not going away, so that means I must have another one, kind of the yeah. same. Yeah. Who's that? My dad. Okay, dad's here. Hi, dad. Okay. Susan, your mom. Yes. Okay. No wonder I got them both at the same time. I'm like, I'm getting double head yes. things going on. Yes. Right. And it's just like, when it keeps coming at me, it, it, it's just telling me, okay, there's another one that passed similar or something close to it. So you got mom and dad here. Okay. Um, you're, they're both apologizing now. <laughs> and they're like, we're so sorry. We're just... <laughs> so just know that there's so much love coming from both of them, but I need to say more leaning towards your mom that, you need to know, Jennifer, that there's nothing more that you could have done for her. Do you understand this? Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like I need to say those words. It's like, you did all that you could have possibly done that there's nothing more that you could have done. And I feel like you, you, you went above and beyond, above and beyond. Do you understand this? Okay. So this is where she's just giving you like, uh, she, she just, she like, she just showed these wings out to me. So you got you, you were her earth angel. She is now your heavenly angel. Okay. So know that and trust that. Okay. Now, was there certain times in your life where you sometimes didn't get along or your butt heads? Okay. Yeah. Cause she's making me feel sometimes we got each other. Sometimes we didn't. Sometimes yeah. we got each other. But it was just the relationship. And you it's like you guys just accepted it the way that it is. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but I do sense that you were daddy's girl. Yeah. Okay. And not were. I'm going to take that back. You are. Uh oh. Okay. So you still are. Okay. Um, was your dad's passing really quick? Yeah, it was pretty quick. Okay. Yeah. Whenever I get pushed more to my left, that's uh -huh. the mas masculine energy. Okay. When, whenever I'm leaning to the right, means the feminine energy. Just so you know where I'm going okay. with this. So I just got pushed this way. This is how I know it's your dad. That's how I know that it's him that's saying this because of where I'm sensing it. Um, and I feel like I need to acknowledge a birthday or a celebration just past or right around the corner. So, um, yeah, I had my birthday in April. Okay. Close. Um, my dad's was the 30th of April. Okay. Um, but actually June coming up, my mom was really big on recognizing like anniversaries and things like that. So she may know that coming up is an eight year first date anniversary. With someone. Okay. So just acknowledging, just acknowledging yeah. these, these celebrations that you're doing. It's more but that we had that conversation today. Yep. 
And so they're just acknowledging yeah. the celebrations, okay. right? Um, but you, I, oh like, gosh, I, I'm so sorry, the 27th is my son's birthday. This there past, you go. I, was oh that, God, I, like, like so on Saturday. This past, yes. This, this past Saturday? Yes. Oh my God, here I was like thinking, I'm like, oh yeah. my God, so it was on Saturday. Okay. And my son's is today. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there you go. How old is your son? He's 11 now. Okay, I'm much older. <laughs> my, he's my youngest and he just turned 22. So there oh, you go. Okay. Yeah. Um, so know that they were there for that celebration for your okay. son. All the yeah. more reason why to acknowledge, right? So, yeah. and you know, and it, yours wasn't too far. That's April, right? Dad's is coming up and then the celebration with your partner, yeah. right? So that's, and whatever is important to you. Hmm. Right. Very important to that, me. Yeah. That they're very important, right? And hold on a second. I just got shown something. Did you just do something special or in honor of your mom for Mother's Day? In order of sorry? Did you acknowledge your mom or do something yes. on Mother's Day? Uh yeah, I did. Whatever that you did, she liked it. Did you was there a cake or a pie? Um, not for Mother's Day. Because she showed me like a sliver of a cake or a pie. Or was she, did she was she into baking or did she? Mm -mm. Mm. I mean, we had cake for my son's birthday, but that was kind of unless okay but of, was there an inside joke or something like I feel like there's something to do because she's showing me like an actual sliver of a cake or a pie wait a second hold on I'm asking her to give me more did she, did you ever do money cakes money birthday cakes did she ever do money and cakes no but I, I did something with money okay this birthday. is where she's okay this is where she's going Okay. Yes. Because remember, she's got to give it to me in such a way where it comes close. Oh my God. I love this. I think to, I so as long as it makes sense to you, that's the most yeah. important thing. So and birthday in a cake that's just passed. Yeah. 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 Okay. But it's something unique and it's something different and she's just applauding you on it. Okay. You know what I did? What'd I, you do? I, every year she would give my son money in a birthday card, but because she passed, I wrote on his birthday card this past weekend, this is from Nana and I put $50 in it. So that's what it is. That, and I, wondered, I wondered if she was going to know that because I wrote it and I'm like, that would totally be something that could come up. Yay. <laughs> yeah. 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 I said, yes. This is from Nana. The money is from Nana. Yeah. Yeah. And I did it. I did that at Christmas too. Yeah. I love it. But yeah. I just love how, how she yeah, presented it. She was representing money in the cake. It's like, yeah. no, it was money for my son's birthday from her. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. That's awesome. Yay. So, you know, thank your mom for that. Right. Because that also shows you that she knows your thoughts that you were hoping that she would somehow acknowledge it, right? I feel like I want to cry right now because yeah. that's, because, you know, it's a very special time. It's your son, you're honoring her, you're honoring him. It's a celebration, right? Uh, yeah. Now, your dad just showed me Blue Jays. Was he into Blue Jays or a bird to Blue Jay? So it's kind of funny. I do remember him having like a Blue Jays hat. I remember being young when we would go away places, he would say we're from close to Toronto, you know, the Blue Jays would be the team he would refer okay. to. Got so you. That's so since that's in your memory bank, that's mm -hmm. what he's pulling out. So you have that validation that it's him. But I also feel like, and he's laughing at me because here I was talking about Cardinals. Ah, no, so, the Cardinal thing is huge. With okay, my good. Okay, good. I saw Blue Jays the other day and I thought of my dad, which is interesting because that was okay. my dad's favorite bird. Okay, so he's going to switch it up to a Blue Jay. Okay. He's your gonna... mom's the cardinal, your dad's the Blue Jay. Yeah. Okay. Now, understand this too, that when it comes to signs, 
Signs are not signs if you're sitting there waiting and looking for signs. Those are right. not signs, okay? Yeah. The signs will show up in your experience when you least expect it. And your inner knowing will tell you, mm. this is my dad, this is my mom, you just know. And you don't know how to explain it, you don't have to explain it, you just know. So I feel like, because your dad's laughing at me, he's like, yep. I'll be the blue jay. Yeah. Okay. And your mom's like, I'll be the cardinal. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> right. Yeah. And again, because if he was into the jays, it just there's a there's there's another element to it. You know what I mean? And it's still birds of a feather stick together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't said that in a long time. <laughs> birds of a feather stick together. Now, here's the other thing, too, is it doesn't have to be the actual live bird. You mm -hmm. know, you could you know, someone could give you a card and, and it, you know, you're going through a tough time or something, get well soon. And all of a sudden you see a blue jay on it. Hmm. You know, in that moment, my dad helped you pick this card. This is from my dad as hmm. well. Right. Or yeah. say, say you're driving and you're like, dad, you know, should I do it? What do you think, dad? What do you think? And all of a sudden a car swerves right in front of you. And the license plate says, just do it. Or the license plates in front of you and says blue jay. Mm -hmm. it's ve they're very intelligent beings they're mm -hmm. very magical they they love to play yeah they love to play so that whenever you acknowledge a sign then you will receive more okay nice okay but your mom is thanking you for making the connection when i said to you did your mom make money cakes or something like that but yeah. you that could have gone over because you could have been well i'm waiting for her to say that it was 50 dollars in the cake that's where I'm like, okay, that's an expectation. Right. She didn't show, she didn't show me the 50. She just yeah. showed she me the, no, the that would have been that would have been awesome if I saw the number 50 on yeah. there. But, <laughs> but anyway, so you see where I'm going with that, where yeah. it doesn't have to be the actual bird. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And what that is too is people are like, well, do do they become the bird? And it's mm -hmm. like, no, they manipulate the energy of the bird. They can do that. Yeah. They manipulate they manipulate that bird to just plop on your windowsill or when you're sitting on the backyard having your coffee. Just one just try just gets your attention. You don't know how, you don't know why. Yeah. It's like, yeah, that like, but now imagine a blue bird and a red bird I together. I know. Yes. Right. And again, it could be decorative, it could be on a card. Again, it doesn't now. I think that if it happens where they're together. For sure. Uh, you know, you're going for a walk or whatever. That's that's very special. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. would be very special. So remember what I said. Don't go looking. Right. Wait for, for this. Yeah. Um, you're in a good place right now. I, I just want to say to you, don't overthink things. Okay. Okay. Just try not to overanalyze. I like I want to say to you, just be patient and enjoy the, the small moments, enjoy moments. Mm. Just like, it's like every minute, every day, every moment is precious. Keep mm. it as that. Mm. Don't, don't get stuck in the past. Yeah. Just if, if something comes up, okay, fine. You know, observe your feelings when, whenever stuff comes up from the past, just observe it. Just go, okay. Mm. Don't mm. ignore it. Don't ignore it. Okay. Mm. Because there's a reason why whatever that emotion is, is being impressed on you and it needs to come up. Right. And it, and it doesn't have to be a negative. It could be a, something of pure bliss, but whatever is being presented to you, let it come up. Just observe it, feel it, release it. Thank it for showing up. So what's happening is, cause I feel like you're going through some kind of a huge shift. There's a shift within you, right? So it's mm -hmm. like, I want to say to you, out with the old energy and let's make some room for the new because you deserve the new. You deserve everything that's happened for you right now. But do you believe that? Mm. Do you? Most days. Okay. And the, mo the other days that you don't, that's fucking A, okay. <laughs> it is okay to be angry or sad 
are miserable because that's why we're here. We are here as spiritual beings living this human existence. So we need to know every emotion, what it feels like. So mm -hmm. allow yourself to go deep and dark and then come up and shine. Okay. <laughs> okay. We are in a work in process here. Okay. And I need to say this too, and I don't know why, but I'm just going to say it that grieve any way you want to grieve. I don't care how many books are out there. I don't care what the books say. You grieve the way you want to for mm -hmm. however long you want to. Mm -hmm. But understand this, everyone grieves differently. Is that coming through for you right now? Is Huge. that? Huge. Okay, because that's really, actually a really interesting message because that was one of the things that when you were touching on sort of like that relationship mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the grieving process and that recognition of everyone grieves differently mm -hmm. being that was very prevalent in my mind at that yeah. time so when your body responds to mm -hmm. what i'm saying mm -hmm. then there's truth to it yeah right just that's what i'm saying is really observe your vessel observe your feelings mm -hmm. right don't mm -hmm. close the door on them jen don't close the doors on your emotions. Let them come up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cause yeah. you're, you've got a bit of a, a wall there. Okay. Yeah. You know when to put that wall up, but do you know when to take the wall down? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm, I'm hearing that it's okay for you to show your, where your emotions on your sleeve. It's okay. You don't have to be the strong one all the time. Mm -hmm. You don't. It's like, I feel like someone, whether it's your kids or someone needs to see that side of you, show your emotions that you are human. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. But it's, it won't only just benefit you. It will benefit everyone around you. Mm -hmm. Right. Because when you do the healing, it's a ripple effect. Mm -hmm. Right. We have our circle. We have our energetic circle. We have our soul group, even your parents and spirit. They're still part of your soul group. Right. Right. Now, I feel like I need to say this, too. Yeah. A lot of the, a lot of what I just said, it came from your dad. Mm hmm. To let you know he's been with you this whole time. Mm hmm. That's nice. Okay? It's like every step of the way he's been with you, every step of the way he's been with you. Okay, so it's important that you know that because I'm being pushed to my left. Okay, because mm. I felt that in my head and your dad is like, she needs to know. I'm not saying your mom's not part of it. Yeah, It's it's you need to know that he knows. You need to know that a lot of this came from him. Daddy's girl looking out for daddy's girl. Mm. Okay. Yeah. We're, um. What's the, what's the significance in March? Did anything in particular happen in March? Um, let me think, March. Do you have any Irish background? No Irish. Because it feels around the mid of March. Hmm. Do you have a, do you have a dog in spirit? A what? A dog, a dog in spirit? I do, yeah. Maybe you bought him in March or maybe he was born in March. Is it a male dog? Yeah. I don't know why. I just feel like your dog was named L Lucky, was it? No. Okay. I'm just going through my life. I'm like, check, check. Yeah. She, didn't, she didn't check. She didn't say that. She didn't say that. Huh. The only thing I could think of is that I know of a dog in spirit named Lucky. Hmm. And that's my association to to March. Don't ask. It's my library. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes okay. it doesn't, yeah, it yeah. doesn't have to make sense to you as long as it yeah. makes sense to me in that sense. So but you have a dog here also, don't you? Here in the in the uh, like you have yeah. one here present, right? Yeah. Okay. The dog in spirit is playing with the dog here in the physical realm. Okay. Okay. So just to get your attention. It's like because okay. our pets still come visit us, just like mom and dad do. Okay. Yeah. Your pets will come visit from time to time. And so 
whenever your dog's acting strange, like looking up and they're like, there's no fly. What, what the heck are you looking at? Or mm. starts, especially more if they're chasing. If a dog starts chasing or running after something, you're like, what the hell are you running? It's he's playing with your other dog. Okay. Because their frequency is so high, they know when spirit's in the room, right? Mm so if your dog starts acting differently but you sense it's not from your other dog ask who's visiting and whoever is impressed on you first your mom your dad or another level whoever is impressed yeah. on you that's who's visiting so there is something about a dog okay so if you're getting the sense of a dog there's in something spirit uh i do have a dog in spirit yeah but are you asking about a dog here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Health-wise? Um, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Is the dog in the middle of a tug of war where to live? No. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> not really, no. No. Okay. What's, your, what's the dog's name? Paris. That's funny. That's my girlfriend's whose birthday it is. Yeah. That's her dog's name. Hmm. Paris. Hmm. So you're questioning Paris, who's here in the physical realm. And you're pertaining this health-wise, or is it hard to explain? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? A little bit hard to explain. Yeah. Yeah. That's been coming through. No, it's okay. Uh, no, but you have a dog in spirit in the, in, do you have a dog in spirit named Paris? No, the dog in spirit is Dexter, but it wouldn't be related to the whole Paris thing, I don't think. But you are asking about this dog, Paris, here, in the physical realm. Yeah. Hmm. Not really getting anything, I'm just being honest. Yeah, that's uh, okay. How's the heart? How's Paris's heart? Not really sure. I don't, I think probably okay. Yeah. Just when you were talking about the playfulness and stuff, it was just something that was kind of noted, but. And again, it could be just, yeah. if you're, if you're, if you're seeing the dog acting differently, usually it's because their loved one's trying to get your attention and they'll use pets to do that. Okay. Yeah. Right? I, both my sister and I have noticed that this dog is acting a little bit interesting lately okay so just watch that like not sit there and look at the dog yeah. but the dog will get your attention you're like okay someone's visiting and you mentioned your sister so that's another reason why we're talking about dogs because that's how you're that's like your parents are now okay we're bringing your sister into this session acknowledging your sister whatever's going on with the dog it, mm -hmm. it's them it's them playing with the dog Okay. Okay. Not Dexter. It's your right. parents that are trying to get the dog doing whatever it's doing to get, especially if you two are together, especially uh -huh. if you two believe in the afterlife. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's like, mm -hmm. okay, let's go. It's playtime. Let's get their attention. Let's get their attention. And because dogs know the frequency of spirit, mm. what better way to try and get your attention by having the dog acting a little bit different? Yeah. Okay. May I ask how different? like just very playful more playful than usual that both my sister and I have kind of noticed that we're like is it the new haircut is it yeah yeah so no, it's but them it's a them. lot more a lot more like energetic a lot more jumpy and yeah yeah and you'll you'll your instincts will tell you you'll just know mm. you're you'll just know but again they was this just recently too yeah Okay, all the more reason because they knew this was going to be mentioned up in the session. Okay. So that's what they'll do is they'll do something before so it'll be brought up in the session because they knew you were going to book the session even before you did. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And especially with you and your sister. Mm. Right? So yeah, it was them playing. That's cool. Absolutely. And I think that's why I tapped into the energy of your dog, Dexter, to, to bring this full circle to bring this conversation up yeah yeah right? yeah you need more playtime i need <laughs> maybe yeah you do yeah 
and you deserve it. Thank you. Okay. You deserve it. So um, it's one of those where I'm, I'm really picking up on is to make sure that you know that it's not selfish. Mm. Placing your needs first, taking care of you first. You need to fuel up your cup. You need to, you know, fuel up your tank. You need to put yourself first so that you have the energy to take care of everyone else. Mm -hmm. Please tell me that made sense to you. Yeah, it does make sense. Yeah. Okay. And are you going to do something about it? Yeah, I do. You know, I do get my workouts in and, you know, get my certain number of hours of sleep a night and stuff. So I mean, I'm not talking sleep. Okay. We're not, we're not talking sleep. We're talking time out. Yeah. We're talking going away with the girls, getting, you know, manicure, pedicure, doing your whatever yoga, whatever yeah. it is that fills you up. Okay. You know what I mean? Going for walks, whatever it means to take care of your vessel. You feel good about yourself. I need to take care of me first. I'm number one. Yeah. Always. And again, it's everyone thinks that's a selfish act. It's like, no, mm. you have to take care of you so that you are able to take care of others. Right. 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 Think yeah. of it this way. Think of it as a metaphor. Um, Cause your mom just showed me uh, you're on an airplane. You got kids beside you and the oxygen mask drops down. Mm. What's the first thing you want to do with that mask? Right. Myself. Yeah. No. What's the first thing you want to do? Oh yeah. Put it on the child. Yeah. Right. What are you supposed to do? Mm. Right. So that you have the oxygen, you are alive to take care of your kids. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you ever get that metaphor, if you get the impression of the oxygen mask, that's your mom saying, uh, time out for you, Jen, time to yeah. take it, time for you. Yeah. That will be her little nudge. Okay. Right? Okay. Do you have any government documentation that needs to be something about either your a new signature or it's going to expire, something like that? Do you have anything like that? No, we just when, traveled. So. You just did, so it's not your not a passport. Are you getting ready to sign something? Some kind so of a lease or a contract? Uh, so I do work for the government, okay. uh, and I'm looking to sign some paperwork that will be extending my sabbatical. Okay. Cause I was going to say, whatever you're going to be signing is going to be working in your favor. Okay. So I'm going to say this, and remember, this is my interpretation. Yes. Is I feel like when it comes time to sign this, mm -hmm. have a second set of eyes, read it. I don't know why. It's one of those things where I want to say, make sure you read between the lines, make sure the dots are dotted, like the I's are dots, the T's are crossed. I don't know. I just feel like really pay attention to the wording, if that makes any sense at all. Okay. And I'm not placing fear. It's just, sure, I, just yeah. I just want you to be more aware and really don't just kind of read it kind of lightly and then sign it. I feel like you need to really read it. Okay. And whoever you trust has someone else read it. Okay. Does okay. that make any sense at all? Um, yeah, I didn't want to wait on it. It was just an extension of like a sabbatical. So mm -hmm. um, it's almost like I want to say to you, really think about what you're doing do you really want this i don't know there's just this sense of hesitation and who is giving you that is that my dad uh, that's from both this is from both i am leaning more towards my left though but i'm, I'm more in the middle but i am I'm being pushed a little more to the left i just feel like i need to say that to you is are yeah. you 100 percent sure that this is what you want and the only person that can tell you that is you right right, right. it would make sense for maybe some hesitation there on both my parents parts thank you yeah. okay so yeah. again it doesn't have to make sense to me because i yeah. only can say and i only know yeah. so much but there is a bit of hesitation mm. so now our loved ones will never ever tell us what to do ever mm. 
because it's the law of free will. It's the choices we have to make. Hmm. But what they'll do is they'll give us nudges or, you know, suggestions. Hmm. But at the end of the day, they will never turn and say, no, don't do this. They, mm -hmm. No, because it's our journey. Okay. They're not, they're not allowed to, they're not allowed to interfere with that. But yeah. again, they can, you know, try to nudge you in the right direction or give you the nudges, but it's you that has to make the final decision. Hmm. Right. Because yeah. everything when with our loved ones, right. They're in, it's all a place of love. Mm -hmm. It's like love and bliss. There's no hate. There's no, there's no, nothing negative. Um, and again, they know everything like they, it's like they blend in, they see everything through your eyes. They know who Jen is the essence of Jen. They know who Jen is. Right. And don't forget whether you believe this or not in our soul groups, we have, we've had many lifetimes together. Hmm. Right. So there's, you know, what's the pattern here or what am I to learn? What's, what's my journey all about? What is this all about? Right. Yeah. And I just, I feel like I need to say to you, there's more to life than just work. There's more to life than just money because you yeah. can't take it with you. What's more important is your health. Health is number one. If you don't have your health, what's the point of being here? You need to have your health. So I just, that all, it's like we're, that's the segue back into we're coming for a circle and, we're, and for you to filling up your cup. Okay. What makes you happy? Hmm. So if you, if you put that out there and ask them, well, what do you think? Do you think, do you think I should extend this? Well, what do you think? Right. So, yeah. and just trust what you sense or feel, but this is what I'm feeling is they're just trying to say to you, are you sure that this is what you want to do? Right. That makes sense. Right. Something for you to sit with. Yeah. Um, but really just really tap into that. Like how do you, how, the, the best way to know is really dropping into your heart and allowing yourself to feel. And that's your intuition. Does, when you go to sign this, or you when it comes to that, does this feel right to you? Does it make you excited? Like, are you, It does it make your heart sing? Are you excited about this? Yep, I know 110%, this is what I want. Right. If there is that bit of hesitation, you gotta pay attention to that hesitation. Mm. there's a reason why it's coming up okay so that's your intuition that's your higher self dropping in it's like yeah. one of those things too like if you say you're being presented a new job offer and it excites you i am so excited but i'm scared as fuck mm. then you know you're meant to do it yeah that's kind of where i'm at like i'm like i'm like i'm excited yeah. But then but I'm if also it's, like, oh, this is a big change. And like, I hope this is the right path. It's like very different, you yeah, know. But really focus in on how it makes you feel. Okay. That's the, that's the key because that's, that's your soul speaking to you. Yeah. It is. It's your soul. It's, and that's in anything. It is. It's like, you know, if you're meant to be with someone, this someone, you know, how you feel when you have someone in your life. Hmm. And it's just like, you, you just know. How yeah. you're excited to see this person, how this person makes you feel. You don't get any red flags around this person. The, the emotions are being reciprocated. You just know. Mm. And then you know, well, something's off. Mm. Huh. Not quite sh what's going on. You know what I mean? Like it's really <laughs> allowing your, yourself to feel. Mm. You, you're a mom. You know. Your intuition yeah. is on. When it comes to your kids, you just know. Yeah. Yeah. Just no, something's on, something's off, whatever. So that's so kind of use that, mm. you know, to navigate towards where you want to go. But make sure, make sure you're a hundred percent, okay, or more, or more, okay, hundred percent or more, hundred percent or more. Yeah, I feel like you want to say to you, and I don't know what you do. Like I don't know what it is what you do, but I feel like I want to say say you're saying five years why not make it can you make it three years I don't know I don't know what, I don't know if I'm wording this properly but if there's when you say extending mm. can you can you bring it back a half uh so I'm halfway through okay I'm halfway through the program I have another okay. year to go how many one more year oh 
That's it? That's it. So when do you sign? I have to ask for the extension now um, for another year to still kind of stay on the books, if you will. It's kind of my safety net. The sabbatical okay. is the safety net. Okay. Hmm. It's even right across the board. Huh. Either way works for you, whether you do it or not. <laughs> I didn't I didn't get a yes and I didn't get a no. Okay. So it's like they probably decision. Know, yeah. Yeah. They probably know that. It will work out either way. Yep. Either way. That's what I'm saying. Does it say yes or no? It doesn't matter. Either yeah. way, it, it's going to work for you. So whatever that means for you. Okay. Right. <laughs> so what I did there and I'm being shown to show you I'm like, okay. And that is sometimes I use my body, like my vessel as a pendulum. Hmm. Kind of. Are you familiar with like kinesiology? Yeah. That's what I, my first degree then. Yeah. No wonder I'm being asked to show you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So some, sometimes when I'm in that point where I'm not 100% sure, especially if it has to do with my body or whatever, right? And it's like, if this is meant for me, for my highest and best interest, and, um, my yes is my body being pushed forward. That's a yes, okay? Mm -hmm. If this is not for my highest and best interest, I'll get pushed back. If it's in the middle, okay, and then either way will work, right? What I did was I said, this is my yes, this is my no. For, high, for Jen's highest and best interest, what is, where are we at? And I got the same energy hmm. in both hands. It didn't hmm. come over here. It didn't come over here. It stayed the same. Hmm. So that's what I'm saying is use your, use your body, your vessel. Yeah. As, you know, and so if you do decide you want to use your vessel as a pendulum, as a yes and no, for those situations where you're not a hundred percent, just make sure your, your legs are about hip distance apart. So you have the, the, the weight is even, mm -hmm. right? And place your hand on your heart and just trust. That's the whole point. That's what I mean, building yeah. your intuition. I don't know why I keep saying for you that you have this, you just need to use it more. Just trust okay. it more. Yeah. Right. Cause yeah. I just, I don't know. I feel, I feel good that you can tap into that. Yeah. Yeah. Not every, not everyone can, but yeah. I'm getting, I'm getting that for you that you have that within you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, your dad's rolling out the red carpet for you. <laughs> Yeah, just big hugs. He's proud. He's so proud of you, Jen. So, so proud of you. I'm not saying your mom isn't, but your dad's really, he's it's just like My mom always would always say your dad would be so proud of you. So that's, All the more reason why it's your dad like, that's really pushing that up Because, yeah, because she always would say that. There you go. So confirming and validating. Yeah. yeah your mom would say it and your dad's saying it. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like your dad would have been so proud of you always. Not would have, he is. Yes. Yeah. He is proud of you. And and just know that there for all your milestones, your parents are there. I'm still I'm still <laughs> over the moon with this cake. I am too. Cake. I am I was still over the I moon. Wondered for when that. I, did it. I wondered when I did it. I thought wouldn't it be interesting if it came up something about that? Yeah. Because I knew I was gonna be booking this. That is so cool. And I, and, so like I was like, okay. Yeah. Then, and I'm going to put on the card. Yeah. Like I said, I have never had that before. Right. So if, if someone else does that down the road, I may be shown this conversation and yeah. shown that piece of cake. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. I love that. That is so cool. That's, that's probably the biggest takeaway out of this. Whole I, think so too. I, know. Because, I know. Because to me, that is a, because I always say to spirit, I I do this how many times a day? I have so many clients. Can you just switch things up? I, I, I want unique things, right? Well, I know you were like, don't give up. The my mom was obsessed with cardinals. Her entire front lawn had these like six. Oh my God, that is hilarious. That this was my dad. This was her way of like, because it's the typical symbol, right? Yeah. So the fact that you came out of the gate with the cardinal thing, I'm like, I knew that my mom would have, but there was like no mention of a cardinal. And for the record, where I live, now I'm divulging everything. Because like, where I live, there's cardinals um, that there's a family of cardinals and I see one at least once a day. 
But so just, right there and then you would never really know if it was her. Although I always, you know what I do say? I always go, hi mom. Okay, no matter what. All right. So, I mean, but I know it's a little cliche, no, I'm sure, in the spiritual world of Cardinal. So she, she'll she have to make that bird do absolutely something way different. Something spectacular. To get your attention. Or again, like I said, someone will gift you something with a Cardinal on it. Even the word Cardinal. Right. Mm -hmm. Or even if you're in the grocery store and you just, you know, two women are talking and you, you don't hear the conversation, but all of a sudden you hear the last, oh my God, you should have seen this red cardinal. And you're like, right. That's what they do is they'll push your energy. Like you hear, and all of a sudden cardinal, mm. boom, because that's the only thing that jumped out. You, you ignore the rest of the conversation, but that's, that's what spirit does is you'll you'll hear they'll make you hear a conversation or again the word cardinal whatever it is um even a license plate a billboard th th that's yeah. so many ways to receive signs it's just a matter of acknowledging but again not looking for the signs right right got it is your son saving that fifty dollars he hasn't spent it yet <laughs> Because she says, let him spend it any way he wants to. That would be exactly what my mom yeah. would say. That's exactly what my mom would say. Let him spend let it. Let him spend it the way he wants to. <laughs> I love it. I love your mom. She, oh, love my God. You mom. would love my mom. Trust me. When I told yeah. my sister I was coming to visit, I said, if anybody we know, would mom not be totally down with this? And she's like, yeah, she would. Totally. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And hugs and kisses all around from mom and dad to your sister. Okay. okay. They're just like, they, they're putting it in an envelope. I don't know why, but hugs and kisses in an envelope. That's a first. Okay. Maybe Whatever that means. To her. Just, okay. yep. Hugs and kisses in an envelope. Oh, okay. <laughs> huh. Huh. She may understand that. They may right. have, it might, it might have a significance for her. Um, having said that, did anyone talk about in your family in regards to getting a tattoo? Was there um, a talk, a conversation about it or? No tattoos. Okay. I'll just putting that out there. That could be down the road. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So I have to bring it to a close. Okay. Um, I want to say thank you so much. I really enjoyed yeah. this session. Yeah, yeah, I went from this big pounding <laughs> headache to yeah. just this beautiful gift of, you know, the, the whole birthday for your son and just wishing him a magical day and how they were all part of that in their own way. Yeah, right? that's nice. So I, I, I just feel, I'm just really happy that your mom really impressed that on me. But the fact that I you know. got it too, the way yeah. she presented it and the that's way cool. that you connected it. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah. Um. I'm just going to stop the recording. Can okay. you stay on? Can you stay yeah. on with me if you don't mind? Thank you.